Academy coaching. Well, it's a great honour tonight on Bar TV Sports that we have the Chelsea Academy coach with us here in Newcastle, Frank O'Brien. Welcome to Bar TV, Frank. Thank you much indeed. Mate, we've seen what you've been able to do with these young guys out here tonight in the football world. What's your take on tonight? Listen, they um, great enthusiasm for the game, want to play and want to learn. And, uh, you know, that's all you can ask for for some kids. And some get it straight away, some maybe a little bit longer. But you can never question their commitment. They're wholehearted in their approach and their credit to the club that they play for. That's Mate, we've seen you out here tonight. You've really pushed the boys. Is that the secret? Intensity? I think it is. I think um, when you see kids that have got ability, sometimes that's a little bit of push just to get that little bit of extra out of them and then give them that self belief to say, no, yeah, I can do that. I can mm. have a go here. Rather than just be a little bit of a bit part player no no I can I can affect the game and a bit of encouragement I think in any walk of life goes a long way what we've seen here tonight in Newcastle is that what you push your boys through back home in Chelsea yeah certainly very much so yeah I mean we've got kids uh, who've got plenty of ability uh, mentality is, a, is an issue not with with all kids of, of any age group and uh it's important, I think, you you know, you, you have to get them tough in that respect and make, make sure that they understand that they need to be intense in terms of when they play. They need to recognise and be respectful of players they're playing against, but really be fully committed in their efforts. And that way, then the best players get the best results. As far as the football standard in Australia goes, you know, we're a nation that's really getting into it now. Sure. Um, the future, from your point of view, it's looking brighter with each day? <laughs> <laughs> I have to say, with all the kids that I've worked with during the course of the week, they're no different to any other child in the rest of the world. They just need probably uh, more practice time, more contact time will probably help them in that respect. And being challenged every day, I think that's what this, you, you talk about the intensity, yeah, but kids need to be challenged on a regular basis. They're not always going to be successful, but you need to challenge them. And you challenge them, and the ones that rise to the challenge, they're the ones that will be the ones going forward, that are the ones you'll be looking for. As far as advice goes, is there one or two wisdom, you know, pieces of advice that you, you, you offer the kids around the world? I think... Uh, I think it's important that they play uh, their training sessions, they apply themselves in their training sessions as they would do in a game. Mm -hmm. That, and again, it becomes sort of mentality ap ap approach again. And I just think as much contact time as possible. But coaches need to recognise that it's about the kids, it's about challenging them and making it what's best for them, not necessarily staff or coaches and, you know, I'm on an ego. No, no, it's about making the best possible thing for the kids and then in turn they will, they'll develop and get better. Well, it's the world game. We've got one of the world's greatest, smartest minds here and, uh, you know... That's you, a big question on that one, I think. I don't know. I don't know, but, you know, what you've done tonight, we really appreciate it and thanks for coming to Newcastle. Oh, pleasure. pleasure. Thank you very much indeed.